Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And these messages are strictly for Virgos. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, so you guys, under the video there's a link to purchase a one hour phone reading from me if you need to get more clarity. Um, just click that link and it will take you to my booking site. And um, yeah, everything else that you need is underneath. Um, yesterday's reading, no emperor. Today, the emperor is back, okay? So let's just get into the reading. Past position, yourself, queen of pentacles, the emperor, and the page of pentacles. Present, the hermit. Here's the king of wands. We had the queen of wands there yesterday. And the queen of cups. And movement forward, ace of wands, five of pentacles, and the nine of wands. Okay, let's get some, um, see what the love messages are here for you. But let me just take a look while I'm doing that. Um, okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Oh, these cards are weird to shuffle. Hold on, you guys. Um, so I definitely see a past position of two people coming together and communicating thoughts and ideas, both valuing each other very much. Like very, it looks very good. It looks really good. Um, and I see you there, Virgo, past. You're very stoic, Virgo. You were very stoic in the past. Like, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not going in any deeper. I'm just going to say how I feel, and that's it. <laughs> and this emperor is sitting there, like, looking at you, like, yeah, don't you have more you want to tell me? Don't you want to tell me how great I am? Don't you want to tell me how amazing I am? Don't you want to tell me I'm like the king of kings and, like, I'm your daddy? And I'm your, your superhero and I'm your everything. <laughs> Don't you want to value me, Virgo? <laughs> Virgo, your person's like, how come you're not putting me on a pedestal? Like, you know, maybe you did at one point and maybe you stopped. But all right, let's get your love messages. Oh, this I'm taking this deception card out because I hate it. Ugh, it just... But it bums me out whenever I see it. But anyway, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Virgo, this is you. You're not giving in. That's what's going on. I said that, didn't I? I said, look, there you are being very stoic. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just looking forward. I'm here. Like the teacher calls on you. You don't even raise your hand. You're just like here. That's how you are or were recently or in the past. And your person is like clueless about you. Like, what's going on? Um, they might be communi They might have been communicating with you in the past, you know, about their ideas or whatever. I feel like your person's looking at you like, like in the past, they just had this side eye. They side eyed you a lot. Like, I, I just, I have to show you. Your emperor is like looking at you like, what's going on with Virgo? Why isn't Virgo saying anything? Why didn't Virgo tell me uh, what everybody else tells me? Or just gives me that, you know? What, why isn't Virgo, like, paying attention to me? Why is Virgo only talking about work and money? <laughs> you know, or whatever. Let's see. Okay. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Well, for some of you, you did. But you know what? Your person doesn't trust it. That's what's going on. For some of you, you expressed your love in the past. And your person, like, were you truly expressing how you truly felt? Or were you just saying that because you you were missing the person or because you just felt like, was it like false? Or were you, did you say it too prematurely? Like, I feel like you're, I feel like this person's like questioning. They're questioning the expression of love that maybe you gave them, you know? It's not like they think you're deceptive or they're doubting. They might just be someone who's very suspicious anyway, but they, they just have this look like a side eye. I just keep picking up that side eye. And you might have communicated to them like your true, real, real feelings. But there's something with them 
Virgo, you're not like overly, like you don't vomit at the mouth with your emotions. It's just not how you are. So maybe you did express your love, but this person's like, is that it? Is it done? Are you going to say any more? Um, or did you, <laughs> did you really mean it? Yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I have something different I'm going to do. But right now I'm going to clarify. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles, what's going on, Virgo? Why in the past were you quite stoic with this person? Okay. Hmm. Oh, you were waiting to see if they would come towards you. You were wanting your person to initiate and make the lifestyle change with you. Make those changes and come towards you. But you also expressed because you wanted to make some kind of change with them, um, but you weren't sure. I feel like there was an energy of like, you weren't sure if they would would want to come your way or come in your direction. Let's see the emperor. Oh, the eight of wands. Okay. Well, I feel like this person was very open with you and they might have been a bit more open with you, more excitable. I feel like they would have wanted to come your way if you had just said, come live with me come be with me, you know, rather than just expressing your love. I feel like the, the expression of the emotions is what they did not trust. But I feel like you might have been hesitant. You were waiting for them to make the move. Uh, this, man, things got really confusing in the past. Okay, King of Cups here, sitting on the Page of Pentacles, because I was wondering why this Page of Pentacles is here. Some of you might have had communication with um, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces while you were in communication with um, an Emperor in Aries. So there's a little bit of like mistrust. And um, maybe your person found out about um, somebody else. And now they're like, I love you. I love you. I love you. I want to be and they were like, I want to be with you. I want to be with you. And then they came towards you. But you were just kind of like a deer in the headlights. Like, I don't know. <laughs> What a confusing, confusing mess. Now, for some of you, you might have been communicating with a King of Cups and somebody else was chasing after you, but you definitely, Virgo, were kind of withholding your feelings a bit. You were just kind of keeping them real low with either both people or just one, okay? But I feel like Okay, here's another message, okay? Um, I feel like you've got someone here from the past, like your past person in the past was ready to come towards you, like that eight of wands energy. Like they, would, they were ready to make a quick change. I feel like you just needed to say the word, um, but they weren't really good at expressing their inner feelings, so they might have hid ways to express their love to you. Um, by talking about the weather or, you know, or they might have let their feelings out bit by bit, but not a lot, okay? I don't feel like you really let your feelings out all that much. Like, you might have said, a, you might have said, I feel like you took a moment and dumped all your emotions towards this person in the past. Like, you held on, you held on, you held on, and then boom, you dumped it all, and this person's they may not in the past may not be trusting it but let's take a look at the future here so i do feel like whoever your person is they're thinking about you very deeply they're trying to figure out going in for some inner reflection about your relationship wow the hermit on the hermit this person is going in for some double deep intense thought processes um they're thinking about this express your love thing they're thinking about this deception thing they're trying to sort it out in their mind okay and the queen of cups on the king of wands and the queen of cups is next to the king of wands so yep you're coming through here now is the queen of cups that's how they're seeing you someone who's got the emotion emotional capability I don't feel like you really had it in the past, but now you do. And now they're really thinking about you um, presently. I want to get another card for the hermit because this person is like 
really like they not only went under the blankets they they're currently taking their blankets and going under the bed and getting under them under there like it's real really going withdrawn energy okay knight of wands they want to move towards you that's what they're thinking about if they should really come after you come towards you <laughs> like really initiate they might also be currently thinking about maybe the last time you guys were physically intimate together and um they might just be thinking about that okay they see though what what they're coming to terms with is you know i feel like this person might just have trust issues but what i feel like is going on here is that they really see that you've been trying to put in the effort or that you were trying to put in the effort in the past in only the way you knew or you were capable of doing right um i do feel like whoever you're you've got two people here so you might have been like really crazily communicating with one person and then lightly communicating another the one you were more crazy about is the one who's thinking about you right now and really just taking a look at this situation okay so children is in the present and make the effort that's what i said eight of pentacles um this person I just I just heard they want to they want to play they want to have time with you to play and enjoy and be like children um, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take I feel like this person sees that you took a massive step even though they didn't trust it in the past they see that you took a massive step to come towards them whatever you might have done okay and now they just can't stop thinking about you and this children card also there could be consideration in regards to children if you if you, if somebody here has kids okay um or they could be thinking about having a child or children with you okay um so let's take a look yeah the ace of wands male virility okay so there's definitely this person's going to initiate going forward all right let's take a look and see actually i'm gonna pull do you like how i'm doing this now i figure i'll just pull two romance angel cards for the past present and the future to see what the love energy is i think i like that better let's see we'll stick with it you can leave comments in the community tab if you like this okay let go of control issues give your relationship a chance okay you're a person <clears throat> has control issues definitely they still you know going forward there is some type of a block they are hesitant and maybe withdrawn and that is a form of control um that's going to take a while i feel like let me start at the beginning here okay i do feel like your person is going to try to let this relationship evolve but to be present to it and i do feel like they want to work on this relationship with you now because you really made some kind of grand gesture in the past. And even though they're not sure or they weren't sure what to think of it, um, because maybe you made the gesture and then you ran away or you just stopped communicating or something, whatever, whatever the situation, I feel like they're really contemplating and thinking about it and taking a look at it. All right, the Ace of Wands is here, a new beginning. Yeah, this person's really like coming forward towards you with like a whole new set of vision, like a different set of eyes toward about you this time. I don't know what you did. You expressed your love in some way. I don't know how you did it or what you did. You made some kind of romantic gesture and they are seeing you differently now. This is Piscean energy here. Um, so it's kind of like they see that they have to make sacrifices for this relationship here they have to sacrifice their themselves maybe they weren't sacrificing enough of themselves for you and i feel like maybe you were you might have been um but that's the wisdom that comes to them like it almost feels like whatever you did they're really impressed with the way you do it did it and they want to make the effort and try to be more like that with you um because the five of pentacles they don't want to be lost without without you or left out in the cold and if they happen to be out in the cold they want you there they don't you know like if you're struggling they want to struggle with you virgo 
You know, if you're having a hard time, they want to have, they want to be by your side in that hard time. They don't want to be feeling lost out here, you know, or, or be worried or feel isolated or struggle in their, like have financial gains only to lose them. You know, I feel like this person is quite dependent on you in a lot of ways, or they will be going forward, but they know they got to stop controlling the connection. Yeah. Nine of cups. See, you bring them wish fulfillment. And I think that was in, yeah, that ended in your yesterday's reading as well. Okay, the nine of wands are hesitant because they're definite. This person will always have some kind of fear of betrayal. They've been burned in the past. Okay, or they just have something about them that makes them like right on the brink of making that move. I do feel like they're going to initiate and I do feel like they understand why, but you have to know that um, they're kind of like, okay, I'm going to throw out the first wand you know, but I'm going to hold back on all the others because I'm just really afraid that, you know, I'm going to get betrayed or I'm going to, you know, get hurt. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's take a look. Let's get some love messages here for you, Virgo. Oh, okay. They just wanted to throw that out. Yes, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. This is your soulmate. I hide behind material things. Okay. No, I, wasn't, I just want to take that top one. Okay. This person definitely hides behind money, material items, houses, cars, work, um... It's a way, it's like a self-protection kind of thing. Hide behind their phone. I just heard someone say they, they do, it's easier to be on the phone than to make things real. It's difficult for them. Okay, passion. Try something you've never done before. Yeah, well, that's the Ace of Wands. That's inspired passion. So I do feel like what they're coming in with here, this new beginning happening going forward, is going to be something completely different and un un unorthodox because that hanged man is like they get a light bulb moment. Look at that. You see how his head's glowing? It's like an epiphany with what they come in here with. I can't stop thinking about you, Virgo, this person. You are you are always on my mind. I feel you even though we are apart. Even if it's 24 hours, Virgo. Did you know that? Like even 24 hours that you're not talking, this person feels that separation. I don't know if they have like anxiety, anxiety abandonment issues or something. I know that I crossed the line with you, okay? And the timing just wasn't right with us. And I feel like with your person, they crossed the line by um, leading you perhaps in some way to believe that there was going to be more to the relationship than there was. But the fact is, um, they did definitely feel like there was something to this connection but it just wasn't the right time for them. Now, they, maybe it was, and they just felt like they were too fearful or they weren't ready to indulge. But they do feel like you were the best thing in my, in my life, in, your, in their life. They don't really feel like they've had much best things. <laughs> yep, you came closer than anyone. So there's definitely, like this person loves you, Virgo. They do accept and respect you unconditionally, um, but I feel like there was just, this person has suspicion issues or trust issues, okay? Because we can love people and not trust them, <laughs> you know? We can love someone unconditionally, We like our children, you know? We love our kids, but when they're stealing from the cookie jar, and we're kind of a little bit like, okay, well, yeah, I love you, but I don't trust you not to take those cookies again. You know, doesn't mean I don't love you, but you're going to have to earn my trust again. This person has kind of like 
some issues. And I don't know if it was something that you did that caused them to feel this way in the past, or um, it was just their nature, natural way. I look for you everywhere. So that's a message that this person is watching you somehow, some way. Um, for some, you know, in this day and age, it could be online. For others, they could just be checking to see if you're, you know, they could be checking their phone to see if you've messaged them or called. We will be together again. So they do feel that long in the distance and then in the future that you guys will be together again. It is a soulmate connection. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, I don't know what that was about. I think that's you. I want you, this person. It's just crazy about you, even though they don't trust. I left you before you could leave me. So Virgo, this person might have... I do feel uh, in the present, you know, maybe the, or, there hasn't been any communication. This person's gone and withdrawn with that hermit energy. Did they actually leave? No, I don't feel like they're gone. I just feel like they have pulled their energy back because they need to really like get some clarity. Um, and get some like truth about how they feel about you and you know what's going on in your relationship I told you in the present that I did feel like they're really seeing the effort that you've put in or something that you did I love you unconditionally so this person does like it's no doubt my life is not as together as it seems I feel like this person does put on like um you know pretense to make it seem like, you know, they've got everything together. But I feel like it's really just that they don't really feel that way about themselves. And there is a fear. Somebody must have left them in the past when they revealed their true, revealed their true selves. Or maybe they felt like they weren't good enough and they were betrayed or abandoned. Um, and they have a fear of that. And I mean, who doesn't, right? Okay, so Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that you enjoyed the new format that I just figured out right here during your reading. <laughs> Lots of fun. So, yep, definitely click the link below if you want to get a reading from me. And do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. We just got over 5,000 subscribers, which is totally cool. And uh, hopefully we can get to 10 very soon. So help me out, you guys. Help me out. And, uh, yeah, I will speak to you all very soon. All right, take care. Bye.